What is up everybody, welcome to a brand new series that I'm going to be doing on my channel. I've been mentioning for a long time, um, if you follow me on Twitter you'll have seen this, I've been wanting to branch out a little bit from the progress videos I've been doing. I haven't really tried to do any other videos for like two to three years, so I'm hoping you guys like this new series so I can continue with it. This video is going to act as the pilot episode and it will feature 10 of the rarest drops in old school RuneScape's history. Now top 10 videos have been done before by a few people, but I want to do them in a different way that focuses more on the community. So there are a few things to note before watching the video. Originally, I was going to do this without showing drop rates because I know a lot of people always argue over statistics on who's right and who's wrong. Just remember that this video is just to show off the drops and not to necessarily rank them. However, for the majority of ranks that are shown, I tried to find pictures of people who got insane drops from a single kill. I tried to verify the validity of all the pictures you'll see in this video, and I'm confident that apart from maybe one, all of them are legitimate. With all that being said, let's go ahead and start the video. So starting off here, we have Reddit user MaxKiller5, who seems to have received back-to-back -back Dragon Warhammers. For drops like these, where it is for more than one kill, I place them towards the bottom of the list because, as mentioned, I want to focus more on single drop luck for the higher rankings. Now the drop rate of a Dragon Warhammer is 1 in 5,000, so getting these back to back would be a drop rate of 1 in 25 million. After trying to verify if this was really back to back and not a few kills between, notice how he has all of his chat unfiltered and he has 18 cannonballs in his cannon. If these drops were to have been between multiple kills, you would see the cannon has been refilled message in the chat. And since you don't see that, it's assumed that it is back to back, and this is also what the consensus seemed to be on the original Reddit post. The number 9 spot goes to Luna Senpai, and once again this is multiple drops so it is further down on the list, but they somehow managed to get back to back to back full trident of the seas from the Kraken boss. A single fully charged trident has a 1 in 512 rate. So getting this back to back to back would be a drop rate of 1 in 134.2 million. So this next picture is definitely going to hurt your brain the more I talk about what's going on in it. At number 9 we have Demigod Johns who managed to get both a Twisted Bow and an Omelet from a single raid. Now this alone would be pretty lucky and even might be enough to stay on this list, but when you look more into it, it's going to start hurting your head. Take a look at his stats, he has almost all level 69s, pretty cool yeah, but then take a look at what kill count he got this drop on, 69. So Apure got a Twisted Bow and an Omelet on 69 kill count on an account with almost all 69 stats. Literally insane. Also, I have no idea what the drop rate is for this, so I just left it blank. Next on the list is GPS11. Once again, I have absolutely no idea what the drop rate on something like this would be because I've never seen something this ridiculous before. When I initially posted this on Twitter, the majority of people didn't even see what was so special about it. It was pretty much he got a Phoenix pet, so what? But when you take a closer look at what's actually going on here, you'll notice that he actually got the phoenix pet twice from a single crate. From the amount of points he got, it's pretty apparent he was soloing, so the drop rate might not be as crazy as it seems, but this is still insanely unique and deserves to be on this list. Now we're going to start getting into the single drops, and this is where the drop rates start getting a bit wild. Once again, that's assuming the drop rates are actually accurate. So at number 6, we have Hemingway93 on Reddit, and he got an armadillo helmet from a guard that you fight during the coordinate step of an elite clue. For those of you that aren't aware, you have a 1 in 1 million chance to get this as a drop during an elite clue, and until I started doing research for this video, I didn't actually think anyone had ever gotten this as a drop. It's kind of the thing where, you know, it's cool to know it exists, but you don't actually expect anyone to ever get it, but in this case, somebody actually did. So from this point on, the rates of receiving these drops are going to start moving up really quickly to some pretty crazy numbers. In this picture at spot number 5, we have Larlaxer, and he got 4 Barrows items from a single chest. I've seen a few people manage to get 3 items from one chest, but this is the only time I've ever seen somebody manage to get 4. This is a 1 in 7.36 million chance, and it's safe to say we probably won't see anything like this again in the near future. Also, for those of you wondering if it's possible to get 5 or 6 items from a single chest, the answer is yes. With getting 5 items being a 1 in 185.9 million chance, and getting 6 being a 1 in 1.26 trillion chance. Next, at spot 4, we have Iron Brevik, who got both a Draconic Visage and a Skeletal Visage from a single Vorkath kill. From looking through the Reddit thread of this, it seems to be a consensus that this is a 1 in 12.5 million chance. Both of Visages do have a 1 in 5,000 drop rate. Personally, I thought at first this would mean a 1 in 25 million chance, but I'm really not that good with statistics, and a bunch of people in that thread went back and forth for a while to get the number I provided, so we'll just assume it's correct. 
So at number 3 we have level 118, and he received both an Elysian Sigil and a Dark Core pet from the same kill. The Dark Core pet has a drop rate of 1 in 5,000, and the Elysian Sigil has a drop rate of 1 in 4,095, making it an overall chance of 1 in 20.5 million. I think I can speak for a lot of us when I say that this drop combination was definitely like the dream drop back in the day. So I hope I'm saying this name right because the picture is really small and it's kind of hard to read the name, but spot number two goes to Freeside. I tried to scale this picture up as much as I can because it's pretty small when I found it and I hope it's still readable. But he got a Dragon Two Hand, a KQ Pet, and an Elite Clue all from one kill. So for this drop rate, I can confidently say it's accurate since Mod Ash was the one who did the math on it and posted it on Twitter. The Dragon Two Hand has a drop rate of one in 256, the Pet one in 3000, and the Elite Clue one in 100 for a total chance of receiving this drop at 1 in 76.8 million. I actually found this picture last minute as well. It was a reply to the picture you're about to see at the number one spot. Uh, definitely one of the most insane drops of all time. Before I show the number one spot, I did have a bunch of other pictures I did want to share really quick. Uh, the first one is from Mr. Kristoff, and he seems to have gotten an Abyssal Whip, an Abyssal Dagger, and an Imbued Heart all within a very short amount of time. On his Reddit post, he said he got the Whip, and then a bit later he got the Abbey Dagger, and then the very next kill he got the Imbued Heart. There's also Relatived, who got a Bloodhound on his very first Master Clue. Jamie Lanny, who got two Agility Pets between levels 15 and 17 of Agility. And finally, Makester, who got all four Armadil drops within 10 kills of each other. Alright, so we've seen drop rates ranging from 1 million up to almost 80 million, so you would expect a drop at number 1 to be maybe like 150 million or 200 million, maybe even something crazy like 1 in 500 million. Nope, this drop still hurts my brain every time I look at it. The rarest drop in the history of old school RuneScape and probably even RuneScape goes to Ross2007, who received two uniques, a Zora pet, and an elite clue in a single kill from Zora. I mentioned at the start of this video, I was confident that almost all of these pictures were 100% real, but this one is still questionable for a lot of people just due to the sheer insanity of it. Breaking this down, getting a single unique from Zora is a 1 in 512 chance. I know some of you are going to say, but you get two drops per kill, so technically it's a 1 in 256 chance of getting a unique. This would be true if he only got one unique, but since he got two, the 1 in 512 chance applies to both of them. The pet has a drop rate of 1 in 4000 and the elite clue 1 in 75, bringing the overall chance of receiving this drop to 1 in 78.6 billion. If this picture is truly real and this guy did really receive this drop, I honestly don't see anyone ever beating the drop rate on this. But that's going to do it for the video. I do hope you all enjoyed watching it. I did want to give a quick shout out to Dids who helped me look through like 15,000 Reddit posts to find all of these. Uh, it took a pretty large amount of time. There were also a lot of pictures that weren't included in this one. So if you guys want to see a part two in the future, let me know. Also, any sort of feedback is appreciated. Next video in this series I plan to do is already in the works. And if you follow me on Twitter or saw my YouTube notification, you probably already know what it is. But the next video will be 10 of the longest pet dry streaks in the history of old school. Once again, I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.